Don't worry. It's pig, not beef. I think, who knows? It's from the store. There's no telling what animal. It could be a lizard in here. I have no idea. Whew. Morning, everybody. Chad, Doss Farms. Man, I think today is the day we're finally going to be able to turn the cows out on the 20 acres. Because last night, Miss Ray, and let me tell you something, man. Small but mighty, okay? I'm currently, well, in case, it, it, get ready. If you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. This is my lovely wife and I's 40 acres in Northeast Oklahoma. We've got a red Angus. Nope. We've got an Angus Highland, a red Charlet, four donkeys now, a pig, a bunch of longhorn cattle, and then there's a longhorn Angus running around back there somewhere too. But we have been here for almost eight months now, and we have got projects going like crazy. Now we've managed to hire somebody, our buddy Jeremiah, and fence off five acre pasture, an eight acre pasture back there, a four acre pasture over there, and then he did the perimeter on the 20 acres over there and our backyard. But we decided to tackle this fence by itself. Wait till you guys see this. We decided to tackle the fence by ourselves for about 330 feet of Kentucky four-board fencing. Let me just say it looks amazing. Can I show you guys this or should I wait? Hang on. Yesterday we got half of it done just because of some other commitments we had. Oh man, that looks good. I haven't seen it in the daylight. We finished up pretty late last night. What's you doing? Good morning. It's okay. It's all right. Morning, everybody. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, man. That is pretty. Now, don't judge me on the height of some of them poles, because some of those posts are 10 feet tall. So, they're in the ground almost four feet. We wanted to make sure none of these... Uh, Two ton Tina's could lean on it and knock it over. So it's in there pretty good. Each one of them's got at least a 60 and a half pound bag, or should I say a bag of 60 pound and a half? 60 and a half would be silly. Bag of concrete in it and uh, 12 feet apart. Um, many have said that won't work, but we used to be 16 feet apart with these same cows and had no issues, along with two baldies and a grumpy heifer named Tessie. And nobody was able to push down just a cattle panel and like a decorative fence post fencing. I mean, it was nothing compared to a, a true Kentucky foreboard. I know it's not a true Kentucky foreboard because we're not in Kentucky, right? No, what I mean by that is if you look up like spacing, little horse this morning, if you look up like spacing on the timber and the, the runs and the posts and all there are one million different ways you can do a kentucky four board but what we figured out is the front piece that goes along the the up and down of the post that's what really adds the strength and it hides the seams makes it look really good and we're probably going to stain that i'm sure she'll do some kind of cedar probably do the posts in black um hey we got deer tracks right there here. probably can take one off the back porch <laughs> Whew. morning boys good morning good morning take it easy so if i don't run you guys don't run oh no wait now we're running hey he kicked that's not nice you guys are st stinkers Man, he kicked and barely missed me. Is that good? Is that good? Hmm? <laughs> oh, man. I had no idea there could be so much personality in a pig. Good 
Good morning. Hi. Now you guys got treats last night. I know you did. And Miss Ray will be back today, I'm sure. What's up, buddy? Hey, I think we got a name. I think we got a name, Mom. We're going to call him Dude. Yep. We think of your name, Duke. So we got Little Donk and Little Dude. Is that okay? <laughs> so pretty. Man, that fence looks good. My goodness. Hang on. You guys got to look at this with me. Look at that. If you hear any hollering in the back, my neighbor's feeding his cows. I think he's gonna be just like his dad, like real cuddly. As long as you got snacks. As soon as we get the 20 acre pasture done, which will be today, it's gonna be today. Cause here's what, here's what our goal was yesterday. I have enough panels from our friends at AeroQuip to fence the last 150 feet with heavy duty panels, like linked together, stronger panels than, I mean, it, it, bow gates. I mean, it's the best you can buy. And they work with us and they sent them to us a little over a year ago so worst case scenario i can just put panels from the fence like remaining to the black pasture because we chose the long side first it's almost halfway but we chose the long side first so golly look at that my goodness and that gap one of those posts was one of the last ones I cemented in, so we waited on it. So we'll finalize that today. How pretty is that? We want these trees gone, by the way. I think, I don't know, man. Sometimes I sit out here in the morning and eat. All right. He knows he gets cubes here in a minute when I drive down behind the pasture. But yeah, when I sit out here and eat my Cheerios in the morning, those trees are pretty nice, blocking the sun. Look at that. Amen. When we get the 20 acres finalized, which will be today, one way or another, whether it's fencing or panels or both, these two guys will be moving to the five acre pasture over there, along with Lily and Badonk. Lucy and Dude, the baby, will have this pasture all to themselves with Miss Izzy, and they all get along great. So it was great moving these two over here. It needed to happen. But basically, since we moved in, these guys, they're just a little rowdy and they're huge, man. You've just got to be so careful. And I get a little protective and worried like when Carter or Ray or any of the boys want to go in there. But I wouldn't be that way with Lucy. I mean, yes, you have to be careful. Donkeys can buy it and Ray hand feeds them. But this is Lucy. She was also halter broke when we got her. I have no doubt. I mean, I, I touched her baby six hours after it hit the ground. These guys are going to move, which will also be an acre bigger, and there's grass and forage or stuff to forage over there, whereas this pasture is going to be a while before it has grass because we had to, like, level it. It was a complete overhaul. It was nasty, nasty. This is why you need to move because if you bend my... Hey, don't bend my cattle gate. These aren't heavy. These are not rated for Franklins, okay? They're not rated for Franklins. All right, but yeah, Lily, these two guys... And Badonk will be moving over to. Whoa. <laughs> that was early. And that's what happens when the donkeys bark. Oh. Oscar, our wiener. Taught everyone to howl. Come on, buddy. Woo. Come on. Y'all are looking so tasty. Mm mm. Woo. Yeah, I remember we've got a shorter trough, but we're actually going to be swapping it out. We're going to put the long trough that we're using right now for everybody. You just, the one you just saw in the five acre pasture where these guys are because the calves are gonna be in there. Uh, the donkeys, a couple of donkeys, 
they're going to be over there. So at the long trough over there, I'm going to move the Aeroquip bale feeder over there. And then Lucy and Dude will have probably just a, a small trough because he's going to be he's going to be nursing for like four or five months. Probably just a small trough and a bowl. So we'll get it sorted one way or another. So we just came through the newest gate into the back of the 20 acres. And we're gonna pop out up here on top of the hill. And we'll show you guys the fence, another side of it. I cannot wait to turn them out back here, man. And amen for the rain. We've got more coming Friday, I think. Man, that looks good. There you go. Beautiful. Those are perfectly straight. We made a jig for them all. They're good to go, man. Good to go. Those are 10 foot posts. That's why they're sticking out of the ground so much because I bought them for a different project. And we were gonna fence on the other side of the cedar tree, but it dropped the fence down on the back side of the hill so when you looked out the back porch, you would have only seen like the top two fence posts. And that just, we didn't like it. it aesthetically pleasing look to it. It just, it looked like the fence was two feet tall and it meant the cows, if they were standing up against the fence, we wouldn't be able to see them either. So anyway, now we're really gonna try and confuse them. They're making their way to what they think is the double gate or the gate where I sneak in at, which that is where we're headed. But we'll see if they figure it out since I'm going this way. Dropping down into the meadow now. And our little deer block is gone already. They crushed it. Oh, a little bit of it. Just a little bit. Doe and her fawn actually bedded down back here a couple nights ago. Man, they were there for like five or six hours sleeping right next to that deer block. So it's pretty cute. They're still getting in and out. Um, it'll be interesting when we get this foreboard up where they get in and get out. But I've got them on this back camera back here. I know a five foot fence is nothing for a deer. Actually, it's not even five feet, it's 53 inches. But, uh, for the fawns, it's kind of interesting. Usually a mom will walk them down the fence. Yeah, I don't know how they're getting in and out with the babies. actually been checking my fence looking for hair from deer jumping it well they beat me back here so I had to kind of dump and run which has many different meanings never thought I'd say it here there you go <laughs> what's up buddy 
Are you gonna play with it? They're not up there. They're down there. You gotta go down there. Man, she's looking so much better. Got some weight back to her. Can't see her ribs. Honestly, looking a little bread. <laughs> Glory. Ali. Hello, young lady. Are you excited for new pasture? You don't even know what that means yet. What's up, buddy? What's she doing? The bag's empty. Here, come here. It's empty. I'm sorry. You want me to get you some? Here. I know. He didn't like things the way he did his face. Hang on. Little donk just had himself a snack out of that pile, so. I don't know. He's some. Sound like he's. Oh, look out. We're trimming trees. I think he's a little perturbed. He got bumped off his pile. Junebug, Honey, Nelly, Glory, good morning. Miss Bell, MJ, Benjamin, what's up, buddy? Phineas, Princess, Allie, Tipsy. morning bunny and sunny yeah and mj and fiona are up here oh, excuse me maximus and fiona everybody's looking good and alive and well Everybody. It's as if they know what's about to happen. Woo! This manual labor stuff, this is for the kids, that's for sure. So Ray is gone. She's not here. She's on her way back. It'll be perfect timing because these are the last 11 boards to go on this fence. Then we can turn the cows out. Well, actually, Hang on. One more step. Hang on. My watch has asked me if I'm okay like three times a day. So anybody under three months old and anybody over eight months old is about to go into the new pasture. So, and if I can't stop them, like princess, honey, MJ, if I can't stop them from going in there, that's okay, we'll let it happen one time. Little donk's gonna stay in here for now. Uh, the donks are all gonna stay where they're at over there. I am planning, we are planning, to set up a legit corral of some sort right here. But for now, these AeroQuip panels are a godsend and we sincerely appreciate them. What I'll do is take, there's another panel back there, I don't know if you can see it. I'll take one from there, down to the other end because it's open as well. And I already put a cattle panel at the bottom of this pasture and it's zip tied to the gate. Cause as you know, there's about a three foot gap at the bottom because that's the old uh, creek bed, which I've seen water standing in it, but not running in it. Standing in it means one time we had a flash flood and the creek rose about 10 feet and then it was down in like two hours. 
at that time we got so much rain that there were pools in that creek but they weren't from the creek they were just pooling up along they, they it was pulled up out here that's what i'm trying to say not worried about that i already got one of their water tubs in there um i did run over my hose though and cut it right in half so my my water line so i'm gonna have to get another hose to get that thing full but i'm also going to put it over there so it's an easier shorter run um so anyway yeah but yep, I haven't filmed a lick of this because Irma Gersh, it's just drilling holes and pouring concrete and posts. And these are all 10 foot posts. So when you see one that's real high like that, so I can reach eight. So we're at least two and a half feet in the ground. But man, let me tell you something. This, this, this rock out here, this country, this part of the land, the hills, as you know, we have a lot of hills and valleys. The hills are rocky straight up man they are rocky i had to move my auger two or three times i probably actually ruined my bit just doing these 43 holes 43 or 33 but i probably ruined my auger Whew. but she did the job and then a good pair of uh post hole diggers made it all the better so anyway they're not too bad if you just consider that being part of the price of the and i've had this for like two years but if you consider that being part of the price of the project it's not too bad. And then we're going to lop all these posts off at an angle. We're going to paint them, stain them, seal them. But let me get to this because I want to let these guys out. I want you guys to see this tonight because it is currently... Yeah, buddy. How's it look? Are you ready? Yep. Are we eating dinner while we do it? Yep. <laughs> yep. I told y'all she'd be back for the cool part, the food and the cows. So I have a cattle panel down in the ditch down there. And that's why there's zip ties in my pocket because we'll run down there and zip tie it so they can't get out of, underneath it. And then I have arrow clip panels in the gaps while we figure out like, what I, I waited until you took a bite. <laughs> so anyway, the only one we definitely don't want in here. Do you know who it is? because we don't want him next to his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. The only one that can't come in here tonight is Little Donk, as sad as that sounds. And I'll make sure there's somebody else in here with him so he's not lonely, even if it's Phineas. But I'm gonna try and keep MJ, Honey, and Princess in here, and Little Donk, right? Okay, mm -hmm. you gonna watch from the air condition? Yeah. Probably too. Bell's the first one in. I had to pull the old bait and switch on this guy. He was too smart. Come on. Psst. Psst. Vamanos. Go push Bell out of the way. Go push Bell. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, girl. That a girl. Glory. Tipsy. MJ, no. Come on. Yeah, sorry. June, come on, lady. Milk train's over. Come on, June. Who's left? Bunny, Sonny. Woo! Nelly. Come on, cow. Glory's coming back to get Allie. Yes, she is. I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> Beans. Beans. Everybody else went that way. Everybody else is over there, Benjamin. Hey. He's like, I'm half Angus. This is what we do. We don't listen and we eat.
There we go. Hey, take beans to his mom, would you, Aunt Nellie? Says there's an animal detected in the uh, meadow. You know who I'm most excited about? Just because the others have only been here for so long is Tipsy and June. Like, I feel like they've like stinking earned this. You know what I mean? Tipsy! Look at her hopping and her steps. Look at her hopping. Look at the hopping those steps. That's a happy cow now. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Look out. I probably got it on the metal camera. That was so cool. They're so happy. Oh, man. That's something when you can actually tell a cow is happy. Look at this. What's up, buddy? Did you guys miss the grass? I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I got you, though, okay? I got you. There's so much room too. I mean, to the people watching at home, like I know it looks like here's a patch of grass, there's a patch of grass. It doesn't look like a 20 acre field, but no, this is 20 acres and there is grass everywhere. Did you go see your baby boy? He's all grown up now. <laughs> yeah, he's shaving. She's like, yeah, I saw him. Yeah, I saw him walked away. Then I heard there was grass back here. Mm-hmm. What do you think, lady? We have like nine big cows in here. Beans is the only baby. What's up, brother? That must have a real cool spot somewhere. All right, we think we figured it out. We're gonna get out of here so we can, uh, hey, there's, there's more animals at the crossing coming into the meadow. We're gonna get out of here so that we can actually upload this. And you guys can see it tonight. But yeah, just think of, there's areas like this all over this 20 acres. And there's only nine big cows, right? Yep, and beans. Nine cows and beans. Well, heifers and cows and a bull. Yep. But there's nine large, nine large adult animals plus beans. They've got tons of food. Tons of food. Yep. This is like, we're only like 300 feet from the double gate right now. There's a whole, 900 feet that way. 